Hey guys, I'm back again with another video and today we're gonna go over our one and only OB tray in labor and delivery and I'm gonna touch with my bare hands because we kind of broke this table down since the stat C section did not go through and we're glad that she delivered vaginally so I just took this opportunity to go over the instruments with you guys closely so this is our only tray for some reason, some people or other uh, facilities have lesser instruments than this. And I would prefer that over a bunch of instruments because it is a lot to count. But this is what we have. And let's go over each one if you're not very familiar with some of them. So the first ones are these needle holders. This holds a 15, a 10. And this one, and oh, um, it also holds 11, and there's also a long version of this. And this one holds a 20, and those are the only blades that I know that I have used in my career, but I'm pretty sure there's other ones too. So, there's those. And in the beginning, it's going to be a little bit harder to put the needle, or the blade, I mean, and... As a beginner, they want you to use a needle driver, which are these. And I guess this is the safest one, but if you've been a tech for a while, you know that we don't really use a needle driver to put a blade on. We kind of use our hands, and you'll get used to that once you are in the field. You'll see it's faster than to use a needle driver. So this is a needle driver. And they vary in sizes. They go from here to like a huge ones in other facilities. And of course, we're not going to use that in OB, but this is just a standard size. All right, so let's go over the stringer. So we have here some sponge sticks. Some of the doctors call this the ring forceps. They use this to stop the bleeders, especially the uterus, from bleeding. And in other cases, you kind of wrap a Raytec around this for blunt dissections. That's what it looks like. You know, when I was a student, I used to think that all these instruments are exactly the same. But when you become a seasoned tech, you realize that they are not all the same. I think it's because the handle just looks like a scissor, so you would assume that it's the same exact thing, but it's not. All right, so these ones are called adairs, and they're also used to stop the bleeders. They're like Alice's, but they're thicker, and they're called adairs. That's how long it is. And again, these comes in different sizes. That's what it looks like. And then moving on, we have the Alice, and the Alice is there's four in here, so they vary in sizes. So I'm gonna get the small one, and this is also what it looks like. It looks exactly like an Adair, but again, the Adair is thicker. I'm sorry, like this is really difficult. <laughs> you see, this is thicker, and then the other one is slimmer. Adair and Alice. Alright, so the next one are the cokers. Short ones and tall ones. This is to retract some fascia. And this stuff is sharp. And if you do puncture your skin with this, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's used in fascia because it's used to um, retract thicker tissues. You see the tip? Alright, and then hemostats, and a lot of people get the hemostats and Kelly mixed up, and basically, in my opinion, a hemostat is literally just a smaller version of a Kelly, and if you see the difference here, this is just longer, this is just shorter, like this is the part where it grabs the tissue, and most of the times, Hemostats are used to tag 
flaps or bleeders and then they use this to hold the bleeder and then they would bovie it over here and then it sizzles most of the time or some blunt dissection because it's not really sharp so and then Kelly is the same exact one it's just longer jaw and then this is mostly used for when they're cutting the cord and this one is just I think this is a medium size and then we have a larger size which they do the same it's just surgeon's preference but to be honest with you if you give them a Kelly Kelly is a Kelly and there's that <laughs> okay so we've got the needle drivers and then we have four different sizes of scissors okay so this is the regular scissors this is the mayo straight scissor regular scissors and you never use this to cut tissues because the surgeon will throw it at you don't do that <laughs> and then this is a curved mayo this is for dissection of course for tougher tissues this is what you use to cut tissues not this this is mats for dissection for smaller areas and there are some mats that are more pointier than this and there's a different name for that but you don't use that in this type of surgery and then we have the bandage scissor this doesn't only just cut bandages it also cuts um, tougher tissue like the umbilical cord that's why we use this and it has like a covering at the top to protect the other structures from getting cut so pretty good and that's it for now for our stringer and yes we do count all of this it's required <laughs> So moving on, we're going to go through our forceps, and there's very little forceps. This is a forcep for the Insorm. We've never used this. I don't know why it's in our tray. And if you see my other video, I showed you guys the pros and cons of the regular stapler and the Insorm. And this is what it comes with for the Insorm. But most surgeons, they just use a regular adsense with teeth so these I have two of them they're exactly the same and the difference is the adsense adsense brown with teeth is that it has teeth <laughs> there is the adsense brown that has teeth all over and we don't have that but this is what's mainly used on the skin This is our Bonnie's, and this is for tougher tissues like fascia. And they use Bonnie's in a lot of orthopedics, in um, general, some general cases. And they vary in different sizes, and there's different ones that are heavier than this. When I mean like heavy, not in terms of weight, but heavier grasp and thicker thicker base i guess because this is the one that we have on the tray and the other tray that we have we have heavier ones okay and then next one is this forceps smooth no teeth and they also vary in sizes this is very small we have longer ones they vary in sizes depending on how deep you go these are mainly used in like vascular if you're tr if you're around structures that um, they're very vascular, you use this. And then we have the Russians. When you're studying about instruments, just remember that a Russian is just this circular grasp thing. I don't know, it's not focusing. It's circular. Just remember it's circular and it's mainly using OB surgery and it looks like that. And they vary in sizes as well. 
and I've used the really, really long ones for hysterectomies. And then our last one is the same one, forceps, but this one has teeth. So, and some surgeons prefer this because it's less traumatic than a bonnie. So, there's this one. Varies in sizes as well. And then for retractors, we have some Richardson, and these are exactly the same as that one. So this is just to retract um, superficial tissues. Of course, you're not gonna use this for deeper abdominal surgeries, only at the top. This is our bladder blade. And then he has, um, it has another structure for this to hold the bladder blade in place, but we don't really need that. This explains why they have these little ridges here, because these bolts and nuts go in here. But we don't use that. We just only use the blade itself. But there's actually a, a, a big ring that goes with it <clears throat> that has bolts. And then we have the other two Richardsons. Varies in sizes as well what it looks like so there's also Richardson's that extends longer than this and thicker and fatter they all vary in sizes depending on how low you go so whenever you are giving a retractor to a surgeon when he asks make sure that you look at where they're at depending on location because if they're all the way down there like deep obviously you're not gonna give this because he's just he's just gonna look at you funny Okay, so when I set up my mayo, I usually have um, superficial up to deep. But you have to also pay attention the deeper they go. Of course, you're going to get rid of this from your mayo and then put more stuff as you go deeper. You know what I mean? So you don't accidentally grab something and then give it to him even though this is for superficial. So yeah so thank you guys for watching i really appreciate all all the subscribers and all the comments and i appreciate all the uh tips because we all know we never really stop learning and i learned from a lot of you um that are seasoned techs and i really appreciate it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video